Everybody see her? Okay, welcome back. Sorry it took so long to get this one running, but I had some issues going on. Well, thankfully, I found a way to upload my videos faster to YouTube, so that means I'm going to be making more videos each and every week. Yay! But enough about that. Let's get through this so I can get back to Transformers Cybertron Adventures. And I'm killing enough time talking as it is, so what we're going to do is armor her up. First of all, I'm going to start with the uh, <laughs> shin guards, or let's just say the knee armor. Even though it goes way past her knees. There's an R, so that stands for the right. The instructions tell you to take her feet off in order to put them on, but I figure just twisting them gets them on easier. L for left. Not bad. Not bad at all. So hopefully she'll stay standing up. Alright, next we're going to take apart the Night Eagle. And I'm going to hurry this up as quick as possible. There are some accessories that are not necessary. Like for one, taking off the feet. Okay, remove this piece right here. It's not needed. This piece right here is not needed. And maybe this is what the container's for, for the additional pieces. You just put them in there. You're going to need this. You're going to need the Night Eagle's head. You're going to need its feet. Okay, I'm going to split this apart, the shoulder pads. And this black part's not needed. Let's see. Take this off right here. This is not needed. This is needed. And it's a little bent up. Huh. Oh, well. A little... Blow drying will take care of that. Alright, so where am I going to start? Well, how's about I start with the crown? The additional hair piece. Yeah, that's going to happen. I told you she falls apart pretty easily. A little super glue should take care of that. Remove that first. I'm not going to change her face because I like this face. I like my figures looking straight ahead. Just... Pegging the hole. There we go. She looking good already. No, as a matter of fact, she looking fine. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. What's next? Think. Think. Okay. Let's start with the. Jeez. Uh, oh, the gauntlets. Excuse me if I can't remember this stuff. First of all, you want to. Make sure the ball joint doesn't come out like so. You're going to take off her hands. Oh, no! I'm cutting off her arms. Nope, that one came out. No biggie, just pull it out. And slide it back in. Like so. Make sure they're in all the way, too. Otherwise, it's going to look weird. Now, the first time I did this, I forgot to put on the elbows. And it looked really weird so you slide them on in like so it's kind of tight I wonder if I got them on the right side but I guess it doesn't matter because I don't see an L or R on any of them I mean she shouldn't break she's a very very strong PVC figure But it's still very, very tight. So as you can see, she's got her elbows. And now, this is an amazing piece. Amazing. I like the way this comes out. Doesn't matter which arm you put it in. Even Piog had trouble figuring that part out. Let me take her head off for a second because it just keeps coming off. Pegging the hole. You see what's happening so far? All right, I'm going to put her open left hand on this side. Peg in the hole very carefully so it don't break. Peg in the hole. Very carefully. And she's armored up right there on her arms. Try to put this back on for a second so you can see her. Very nice, very nice. Let me check something. Hold on a second. 
All right, we're five minutes in this video, so I, I gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. Just kidding. All right, I'm gonna take off her head again because it'll make it easier. Pretty much peg in the hole into the back. Should go right in and fit just fine. For the wings, it don't matter which way you have them. I think it was this way I did have them, I believe, like so. It really doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be perfect. For this piece right here, I'm going to hold off on it until I get the shoulder pads on because I had to drill a hole just like Piog, and I'm trying to figure out which one it was, right there. For the left piece, I had to drill a hole. So you're not the only one, Piog. You are not the only one. Apparently, we got wrong production figures. Or at least they didn't care which accessories it came with. Even though mine was loose, I had to dab a little super glue on the peg. And when I put it in the hole, it's really nice and tight. So I'm going to go ahead, peg in the hole on both sides. And I'm going to put on her chest armor or breast armor. Doesn't really matter what you call it. This part I'm going to save for last. I'm going to go ahead and put her head back on as soon as I get it into the certain position where I can actually free up some room. Like so. Hopefully your hair's not in the way. But if it is, I'll just maneuver it. And yeah, she's looking down. I don't want that. There we go. And last but not least, the Night Eagle's head. Just put it right here. Peg in the hole. So it's pretty much everything's peg in the hole. And there you go. For her weapon, whoops, this part's not necessary. Ball joint, take it away. Peg in the hole. Put it right in there. And last but not least, there's a peg right here on the weapon. There's a hole in her hand in which you're not going to be able to see it, so I'm just going to put it in there. So hang on a second. Peg into a hole. And it should stay in. I mean, it doesn't stay in too tight, but it will stay in as long as you don't mess with her. And there you go. There she is. Raycal or Chuckum in her armor mode. I don't know if it's got a special name to it, but does it really matter? I don't think so. So let's see if she's straight in there. What do you guys think? Let me uh, zoom in on her so you can see her some more. Uh, I guess that's as far as it zooms in on the flip camcorder. Can you see her? I hope so, because I'm not doing this again. No, sir. Zoom out for a little bit. So, okay, I'm going to move her down so you guys can have a size comparison. Here she is with a very old classic figure that I've had since childhood. I Die Eye Monster, or whatever they call him. I Guy. From Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, when Bandai of America was actually making villains for the figures. And here's another comparison with another Bandai figure from the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers 2010 line. Alpha 5. So you can see, she's about the standard 5 inch. How's about one more size comparison right here with Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Red Ranger. I'm going to put him behind her. Whoops. I knew that was going to happen. See, she's very weak with the ball joints on her feet. I'm going to move these guys. So let's see how far she really does stand out compared to them. Okay, so she's about the size of uh, the common Rider figures of Japan, you know. The so there you go, guys. That is the end of this review. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please rate and subscribe. I'm running out of time, so I got to go fast. Got to go fast. Just give me a hint for my next review. Got to go faster, 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 faster. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.